So the first time George actually mentioned this idea to me was, I want to say right around early October, because we had a trip to New York coming up beginning of November. And when he mentioned the idea, I was floored. I thought it was brilliant because it really hasn't been done like this before. And I was just honored that I would even be selected for something like this. And I couldn't really grasp the complete concept of how the journey was actually going to go down. Mm -hmm. But the idea of it was just so exciting that I, I just, I was over the moon. I immediately wrote down what I thought I would want my fragrance to be while we were on the phone. I actually still have that piece of paper. It's on the back, the last page of, of my little notebook I write my reviews in. And uh, so that's gonna be a nice little artifact for this that I'll always be able to treasure because I remember that conversation specifically. So the next step after we discussed that was George, I guess, went ahead and went into discussions with Mon on trying to bring this idea to fruition. And we just kind of waited in the wings. He told me who else he would like to have in this, which I couldn't be more excited about the group that we ended up with. And we just kind of waited to see how things were gonna unfold from that point. So when I first started with my idea, I knew what I wanted for my scent profile. I knew the story I wanted to tell, which essentially around that time when we started this process, this, what I'm wearing currently, the suit and tie, kind of a normal thing for me. I uh, was working in the luxury market and sales and those types of scent profiles really fit me. And I was starting to really have my taste change for florals. And I really think of a more classy setting and classy you know, dressier occasion when I think of floral fragrances. So I really wanted to tell the story of essentially what my day was like. You start your day off nice and fresh. First thing in the morning as your day starts to heat up, spices throughout your day. And then as you get into your evening, that's when it's time to loosen your tie, the woods, the, the powdery nature, add a little bit more mystique and sex, sex appeal, if you will, to the fragrance into the dry down. So it's business over pleasure, essentially. That's why if you look at the packaging here, it shows George in a suit, me in a polo with a flat bill hat, because my initial drawings where I wanted to conceptualize the business over pleasure aspect, business and casual, the serious side and the playful nature. I wanted to really bring that to life in this fragrance and in this packaging. I was a, actually, everything I wrote down in my brief, brief, I actually picked out some notes that I would like to work with. I ranked some accords on strength of what I would like the fragrance to be. I brought to life that story of the, the day for the business professional and I submitted it to Mon and they then took that brief, really looked over it and paired me with what they believed would be the perfect nose to bring to life my vision that really specialized in what I was looking to do with my fragrance. And I was lucky enough to get world-renowned perfumer Claude Deere to do my fragrance. And I was blown away as soon as I was informed that Claude was gonna be my perfumer because as a lot of you know, Claude actually did all of the fragrances for Zaharoff. So I was just humbled immediately that I was lucky enough to be in that situation. And my first conversation with Claude was very eye-opening on just how brilliant of a mind he has for perfumery because he really understood what I was trying to do. And off of my first three modifications that he sent me in my first package, um, I was able to find the right base to go off of in that very first package. So because of the pandemic that was going on, it actually slowed down the process as you would expect. There was delays, countries closing, Mon, they have been working out of their homes instead of out of the office. So everything was a much much slower process through this. Claude was working out of his home. Um, I was able to communicate with him to really get things done. It just was as, at a slower process. We would understand one another in our conversation and what we were looking to do. Um, he understood. He was actually shocked at how dominant I wanted this to be of an iris fragrance. So once I had picked out my base modification, we had two conversations over the phone after that and I received my next set of mods, which did take some time, but he had went to work right away out of his home with his personal lab and amped everything up. And it ended up being exactly what I wanted. I was able to stop modification from there. The very next modification he presented to me, which I would say took about 
eight weeks for me to receive the next go round was perfect. Then it just came down to picking a, con a concentration. So once, once we nailed down the fragrance, it was really time to focus on the packaging. And George actually gave us blank blueprints for a box and for a bottle. And that was essentially our blank canvases. And we were to you know, come up with ideas, rough sketches of what we really wanted our packaging to be. And it was all about trying to bring business over pleasure to life, both sides of my personality and the professional life as well as the casual side, which those that watch my channel know I like my flat bill hats and so on. So I really wanted to incorporate that into my packaging. And I submitted a few drawings to George and I just kept having this split across it where it was, you know, suit and tie. And I just couldn't really completely put it all together. And once I submitted that to George, George asked what my inspiration was for that. And I gave him a little bit more of the background story on that. And he actually came to me with a playing card idea. And I was blown away by that because I actually have a bit of a background with a love and passion for Texas Hold'em that goes far back to playing with my friends for house games, to playing cash games, tournaments at casinos. It just seemed like the perfect fit because that really falls into the pleasure aspect and the life is a gamble type of theme. You take chances, you take risks for a chance at a high reward. And it really fits the theme that goes into my professional life at that time with sales because it's all a gamble. It's strictly commission. It's a challenge every day. It all just made sense. And we kind of took that idea collectively and ran with it and started to go from there. And, to, and it didn't take long to really bring this to life. I would say a few different renditions to get to this point. And I love how we incorporated both of us in there because this is a true collaboration. And I love that both of us are on there because of that. It signifies that this is a collaboration between myself and George, between the two brands, TLTG Reviews and Zaharoff. So now I'm able to critique a fragrance in a completely different light. From the packaging, to the idea, to the story I believe they're trying to tell or the story that they actually do tell because that's becoming a lost art in perfumery. There's not as many stories being told as there used to be. So I can appreciate that much more when somebody does seek out to tell me a story. I can really visualize and walk through while I'm smelling this fragrance as it transitions, as it nuances. I have this newfound, not, not necessarily love, but appreciation and respect for great work in perfumery. The insight I'm able to provide, I have an entirely different perspective that I did not have before because of this process. You know, the, the appreciation for fragrance is even grander right. now because I've been exposed to so much more. Why did George pick me? I think at the end of the day, George picked people that he has a profound respect and love and affinity for. When it comes to investing in someone, you're not gonna pick someone that you don't know or don't like at the end of the day. You wanna pick people you're familiar with. You wanna pick people that you know you'll most likely work well together with. And I really think that's why I was lucky enough to be chosen because you know George is a, is a very good friend of mine. And you know I believe that he knows I would do the right things and be a pleasure to work with because we get along and we have a chemistry. And I also mesh very well with the others that he picked. I already had a friendship with the others in the group as well. So the idea of having others essentially reviewing my fragrance now when I tend to review fragrances, that's what I do, it's my passion and my hobby. Um, it's actually not what you would think with any nerves or worries of you know negative critique or anything because at the end of the day, I sought out to create a fragrance that really spoke to me and if it goes out into the world and there's people that absolutely adore it, that's such a plus that, you know, like-minded, like-nosed individuals. And that's just part of it. You take the good, you take with the bad. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there that doesn't like the creation and that's with all fragrance creations and perfumery. But I'm just so proud of what I was able to do with Zaharoff and the opportunity that was presented to me 
I am accomplished in this. this there's a beginning and an, and an end. This was a collaboration. This was a limited run. And I believe what we sought out to complete, we have completed. We achieved our goal. And I'm, I'm good with what, re, whatever result comes of it. As far as the future for, for my channel and for myself, um, what I do is never gonna change. I just have this love and passion for fragrances. I just love to talk to others about fragrances. That's how this started, and that's how this is gonna continue from the very first video. This doesn't change anything. This is just something really cool that I got an opportunity to do, and it, it really doesn't change anything in the grand scheme of what my channel is about because this isn't some you know, long-term, I'm not looking to market a product or anything like that. This is just something cool that I got to do. Something along the lines of a Stan Smith collaboration with an Adidas or a Pharrell with an Adidas. It's true collaboration of separate brands coming together for a one-off, essentially is what this was. And, and that's, that's the beauty of this. Nothing has to change while still having been able to go through this wonderful experience.